We left off in Stahican, Washington, along the Lakeshore Trail, hanging out and enjoying a beautiful evening. Stay tuned to see us hike out of the woods, enjoy a beautiful dinner, and explore the rest of the town. I'm Riss, and this is Huck. We live in a typical suburban home in the inland northwest, and when we aren't working at the job we love, we're likely traveling. This summer is packed with weekend trips through the beautiful American West. Follow along on our adventures, and welcome to the pack. We took a slow morning. There were about 50 people at this campsite, and we didn't feel the need to compete with them on the trail since we already had dinner reservations for that good. night. So we compared hairstyles, packed up camp, and set off. Um, post braids with the buff. She's got a bandana with a low, messy bun. The pigtails. The hike back is more difficult because all the elevation is in the first mile instead of spread out over many miles like the day before. So we hiked and we hiked and we hiked. This of course made us very warm, so what better to do than take a dip in the lake? The end of the trail came quickly and we celebrated with an unexpected time slot for a shower. <laughs> Dinner was at the Stahican Lodge, basically the only other place to eat in town. We felt like spoiling ourselves that night and we lingered over that meal for a long time. <laughs> With the sun about to set, we decided to pull up a seat on the lake and take it all in. And everybody knows you can never hang out by the lake without jumping in. This certainly was a day to remember. <laughs> the next morning we packed up and left the cabin. Easier said than done with seven people and their seven packs. We're packing up. Moving out, getting ready to leave, shipping out, driving like this whoa, all the way whoa. to good old Spokane. What gets it? Yes, it's the falls. Our next destination was Rainbow Falls, known for its beautiful sprays of water that reflect the light. It was worth the steep hike and wind tunnel to get a closer look. <laughs> From here we took one more stop at the bakery before our final jump in the lake.
boat ride home was much longer due to a number of additional stops, and we were glad to get into an air-conditioned car and enjoy the ride home. All of us vowed we would come back to this beautiful town one day. Join me next time as we hike in northern Idaho on Huckleberry's first backpacking trip. on those bruises. Gotta get that footy for wrist.